convert that into ammonia and into organic fertilizer, which today is considered to be one of the top 100 inventions in the world, which changed the way we live in this planet today. And in fact, it is estimated that 40% of the population in the world today owe their existence directly to this single invention. Yeah? And this was an invention from BSF and Haber, uh, uh, who is a scientist from one of the universities, and uh, Dr. Bosch, who was with BSF, both of them were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1919 for this single invention and its contribution to humanity. And over the years, there have been several such technologies that BSF has introduced. Now, we all know that you know, in, in, today in the world, we have about 7 billion people. And you must have also heard that by 2050, this will increase to about 9.2 billion. In other words, we will add another 2 billion people in this earth. <coughs> Particularly in India, we are about 1.2 billion and we will easily add another 300 million people. So we'll be about 1.5 billion people in another 20 to 30 years. And the other important future is that a large proportion of this population is al also becoming economically better off. So in India itself, we all have visibly seen about 200, 300 million middle class people who have come in in the last 20 years. And we expect that a similar number will actually come in into middle class in the next 10 to 20 years if the, count if the country continues to grow at 9 to 10 percent. Of course, when you have such changes that are happening, this also puts a huge demand on a number of aspects, whether it is food or urban living, and we all see the changes that is happening. So if we have to live within the resources that the earth has, sustainably as we speak it, uh, a number of things and technologies and innovations will have to help us to achieve this. And this we see as a great opportunity for BSF, because we believe that chemistry can really enable us to live within the means of the resources that the earth has with this 9 billion people. So this is where we see the opportunity for growth. <clears throat> and a little bit about BSF globally, we are about 70 billion euro sales in 2015 with an EBIT of about 6.2 billion. We have globally about 112,000 employees and we have about 340 production sites across the world. Uh, and uh, one of the things that we strongly believe in is sustainability. In fact, we have defined our purpose as we create chemistry for a sustainable future, which essentially means that everything that we do, we look at a balance between economics, the impact on the environment, and the impact on the society. Yeah. That's how our, we, we have about 13 different operating businesses. Yeah. And these 13 different operating businesses are divided into five segments, the basic chemicals, performance products, these are products that help the performance of our customers, uh, then functional materials and solutions, and of course the agricultural solution, and the last business, oil and gas. Out of these, other than oil and gas, all the other 12 operating divisions are operating here in India. <laughs> that shows you the kind of diverse industries that BSF caters to. So from agriculture to automotive and transportation. So if you take the automobiles, the paints that many automobiles have, the engineering plastics that you see inside, the catalytic converters, those enable the automobiles to reach the emission standards that are increasingly becoming stringent like Euro 4, uh, Bharat 4 and Bharat 5 that we are introducing, those are all enabled by BSF. We are one of the world's largest producers of vitamins, so we are also in nutrition, omega-3, and we contribute to textile, we contribute to paper in terms of chemicals that really help them to produce these products in a very sustainable manner. So a very wide range of industries that we cover. <coughs> As I told you, the legacy that we come in with is technology and innovation, and we continue this. One in 10 of our employees are working in R&D, and in the year 2015, we spent about 1.9 billion euros in research and development. Yeah. So that again shows you, we have about 1,000 patents that we file annually, shows you the kind of emphasis that we put into innovation, put into research, and into development. Coming closer home to India, in India we have actually BSF has been present for over 120 countries with our distributors. 
but over the years we have a very very strong footprint we have about nine production sites across india two r and d facilities we are part of a global r and d technology platform today we have sales in 2015 in india of about 1.1 billion euros employees of 200 and uh, 2200 employees who currently work for us and mangalore plant is one of our biggest plants set in about 200 acres of land and we have an investment in dahage which you will hear see next which is one of our most recent and biggest investment where we invested about 1000 crores which is about 150 million euros into a multi plant site which was actually opened in 2014 october yeah, and we continue to make these investments. You know, we now, in this, uh, by March this year, we will be inaugurating an innovation campus in Mumbai. Uh, in April 15, we unveiled the largest construction chemicals plant in Nellore, not very far from here. And in May, we opened an agricultural research station in Pune. And in May 16, we will also uh, we also unveiled the sixth construction <coughs> plant in Karakpur. So, over the last about three years we have invested about 300 million euros in India because we believe in the potential for growth opportunity in India and this is demonstrated by these investment we have about 5,000 customers in India and you can see the kind of range of customers that we have you will see a lot of the who is who of multinational companies here and also local companies so that's a very very strong customer database and customer interactions that we have and this is what we make what makes BSF what it is. And lastly, while we do business, we do not forget some of our corporate social responsibility in providing thought leadership and also doing a lot of activities that improves communities. So for instance, yeah, last in 2015, we spent a whole week co-creating with a number of stakeholders about the challenges of water in Mumbai. And we converted this into a white paper with six big ideas on how to change water supply in Mumbai into a more sustainable and more equitably distributed water supply and we presented this to the Chief Minister of Mumbai, Mr. Honorable Devendra Fatnavis. As you see, we continue to provide a lot of CSR activities in the, yeah, you know, under the Swachh Bharat in building, we built about 250 toilets in the Dahej village where we have one of our investments, biggest investment. And in places like Thane and in Chennai, we provide water ATMs, which provides quality water for communities and reduces many of the waterborne diseases. So that's in summary, a long history. Uh, we look forward to growing in India as the country grows. And while we do our business, we are also uh, we, you know, contributing equally to you know, supporting communities wherever we are. So thank you very much.